Hey, what's going on everybody and welcome back to another Ready or Not video. In this video, we're going to be discussing an announcement that was posted by Void Interactive over on their NDA Supporter Edition Discord. Now, I'd like to begin by reading what they posted here. To start off, we'd like to announce the integration of the Mod.io platform into Ready or Not. Starting on October 18th, you'll be able to download and remove mods at a click of a button. This may come as a surprise to many members of the community, as we have said that we would bring Steam Workshop functionality in the past. However, given how underperforming the system is, we have decided to instead adopt mod.io. Just like the Nexus mods and Steam Workshop users will not be limited in what they can upload to the mod.io page, with the obvious exceptions of being obscene or unsuitable content. They can Continue on by saying the adoption of mod.io will allow direct integration with ready or not giving users the ability to search through and download mods from inside the game itself instead of having to open up the Steam Workshop or download it via a third-party website. It will also offer the most flexibility going forward as we make updates to how we support modders and as Mod.io continues to update and add more functionality to their platform. Continuing here, we've worked with both modders and the Ready or Mod Discord team to ensure that the concerns of the modding community are met. Currently, we are testing the implementation of Mod.io with just map modifications. As we update both the game and our support with mod.io, we will extend compatibility to all of the weapons and skin replacers that the community has come to enjoy. Now, following up with this, I do have uh, a few concerns that I would like to share with you guys with mod.io. Those of you that aren't really aware of what mod.io is, it's a gaming service that aims to make user-generated content, a UGC, more accessible to game developers across platforms and stores. It provides a clientless API so developers can easily create and share content and modifications or mods. Now I know a lot of people are most likely disappointed that the Steam Workshop will not be integrated with Ready or Not. I was also somebody who was definitely looking forward to that. The Steam Workshop does make things very quick and easy to, uh, I guess, access for the most part. And Mod.io would just have that ability, except it would be um, in-game and you'd be, you wouldn't have to like alt-tab or quit the game or anything like that. Now the first concern, now this is more or less stemming off of what they have stated. They say, just like the Nexus mods and Steam Workshop, users will not be limited in what they can upload to the mod.io page with the obvious exception being obscene or unsuitable content that is one of my biggest things here that's kind of a red flag to me so what do they consider to be obnoxious or unsuitable content for uh for them to add to the mod.io page i feel like if anyone's going to be adding modifications, especially for considering Nexus, for example, there are a lot of different content out there, including adult content that some might not consider to be suitable for their game. And yes, I am talking about uh, Skyrim in mind with, with some of the adult content there. That's pretty much what I'm hinting at. And I, and I personally don't believe, I personally don't believe they should be blocking any accessibility of those types of, of modification creators. I mean, uh, who's to really say what should and should not be um, added as a modification for Ready or Not. And now there's a second concern that stems from this is whether or not I'm still going to have the ability to download and install mods manually just like I was before. Maybe I do not want to use mod.io and instead I'd like to continue using Nexus. Will I still have the availability to do that? And it doesn't really seem like we will. They do add this sentence here, this little section here at the bottom. At the moment you can download skins or weapon skins and attachments replacer mods via mod.io. However, they need to be extracted from their folder in C users public mod.io 3791 mods to Steam apps, common, ready or not, ready or not content packs. Now that is a location where we do install our mods currently. However, it is my fear in the future that when they do add more features to mod.io with ready or not, maybe we might lose the ability to do this manually. And I really hope not because that could cause a lot of accessibility issues in the future. Bringing me to my last concern with mod.io being integrated with ready or not is the download speed. 
I don't know if a lot of you remember, but Insurgency Sandstorm actually has mod.io integration, and there are hundreds, if not thousands, probably more like thousands, if not more, modifications that are integrated with Insurgency Sandstorm with mod.io. And the last time that I joined one of their modded servers, it took me about 30 minutes, and, I, and that's not an exaggeration, it was about 30 minutes to sit there and download everything while I was connecting to their server. And I also remember having to wait an extremely long time to download their mods just from the page. Uh, like for example, if you were trying to join a certain server, there was a list of mods that you could download. And to make it a little quicker, you could download them directly from the page. But in reality, it probably isn't anywhere as quick as it would be just going to a website, downloading the files and manually uh, dropping them into the folder specified. Now, those are my primary concerns. I would really like, I'm, I, I'm not I'm not necessarily against them adding mod.io because I know this will be a gateway to those who don't really feel comfortable installing mods right now manually. I understand that there's a lot of people out there that aren't necessarily computer savvy and they don't want to mess around with that stuff. So this kind of gives them an opportunity to check out the modifications for Ready or Not. However, I really hope they still allow us to download modifications manually, and if this mod.io causes issues, causes me to not be able to play the game for several minutes, I, I really don't want to sit there at the main menu waiting for things to update and download. Um, it would really ruin my experience, and I know it would ruin many others experience as well either way that's gonna be it thank you guys so much for sticking to the end of the video i would definitely appreciate if you guys would like to give your opinions down below in the comments again thank you guys so much and i'll see you in the next video